Over the past year, I have renovated my desk space to go from this to this. So if you want to see how, then keep on watching. So we're going to begin with the desk chair. That's the first thing I bought. This chair I've had secondhand for many, many years. I don't know how old it actually is, um, but I believe a chair is probably one of the most important things to your setup, especially when you work from home like me, because you're going to be sat there for most of the day, for most of the week. So I wanted to get something that was reliable, sturdy, and super comfy. So in the end, I went for a secret lab chair. My fiance also has a secret lab chair and he raves about it, so I ended up just putting in the money and investing in something that would last me a very long time and was very good quality. Uh, no, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> um, I ended up going for the standard, I think it's the Omega chair in, um, I thought whether I was going to get it in cookies and cream or not, but I ended up going in black, like the black material rather than the leather. So that way in the summertime when it's super hot, I won't stick to the leather. Um, the head support I don't typically use, but the lumbar support has changed my life and is an incredible investment. Highly recommend, super comfy. So the second part is the desk. I had an Ikea desk, which is a good desk, but I wanted something bigger and I just wanted something that was more aesthetically pleasing. So in the end, I found um, a furniture piece from a brand called Visagle. Um, I don't really know if that is the name of the brand or not. I just know I got it from Amazon and the whole range is known as Visagle because it's the same as almost the rest of our entire furniture in our flat. We've gone for Visagle everything, including the shelves you see on the right hand side. So I decided to just commit and get the same Visagle themed desk. Um, and I wanted to add a little bit of pizzazz, so I ended up getting some LED lights to stick to the back of the desk, so that way it was nice and backlit in the evenings when I could just chill and game. Um, these particular set of lights can connect to an app, which you control on your phone, um, and that way you can actually customise exactly what colour you want your colour strips to be. Um, it also comes with preset uh, RGB standard colours if you don't want to get the app or you can't. Um, so yeah, in the evenings and later on when I will show you a nighttime clip, it's not the best quality, but it just gives a nice cozy vibe when it gets dark, especially as it gets towards winter and it's darker and you just want to feel nice and super cozy. So this is where things started to go terribly wrong. I decided to go for uh, arms instead of a monitor stand. I wanted floating monitors to try and create some more space on my setup. Unfortunately, because the desk has a metal border around the underside of the desk, this made it really difficult to actually mount the arms. So that was the first problem. I ended up trying to fix that by shoving in some sort of wood into the gap in between the, the desk and the clamp and in between the, the metal underneath. Um, so I managed to fix that, however, we're going to see momentarily the second thing, which is attaching the monitors. Um, so the monitors are going to be too heavy. <laughs> the monitors, unfortunately, were too heavy for the arms. I didn't check that beforehand. That's a stupid mistake on my part. Um, but you'll see in the next clip where I'm trying to attach the monitor to the arms, where I suddenly realise oh no, this isn't going to work and I have to clear away my workspace and go for plan B. So what was plan B? Well, I just completely got rid of any hopes of monitor arms. I thought I'd go for something different and instead I found on Wayfair a similar looking wood standard monitor stand and um, there was actually for two two monitors i have two monitors i have two benq monitors um, and this stand actually fits them perfectly i measured it beforehand so i knew i wasn't going to get anything wrong this time um, and this just slots on top of the desk really easily and the wood matched perfectly So you might have noticed by now, but I actually have two PCs under my desk. As I said, I work from home, so I have a personal PC and a work PC. This means that I am usually left trying to unplug and plug my many devices and screens 
into the different PCs when I want to use them. So we're going to be looking at a little bit of cable management as I'm putting things back together. Um, it is an absolute mess typically and I want to try and resolve that issue as best as I possibly can. Uh, yeah, so this is exhibit A, this is the messy. So I've got a couple of devices to help with this. Basically these are switches so I can plug in my USB devices into this and then just only have two USBs come out and that alongside some cable management and some sleeves made for a much tidier desk. So the wall above my desk currently looks a little sad with just a set of shelves and one picture so I wanted to remedy that by taking the picture down, reframing it in a black frame to match the rest of the wood, adding another picture of Skyrim map because it's one of my favourite games of all time, um, and adding three accented pictures in the same kind of wood as my desk. Um, I'm using command strips here because we rent and these are much better than nailing everything into the wall and can easily be taken off, repositioned and changing the photos if and when I want to. The shelves actually I kept pretty much the same I just rearranged them added some different bits and pieces but I will reveal exactly how the shelves look and what's on them a little bit later in the final reveal if you're also wondering why I have a giant crackdown 3 picture it's actually a t-shirt that is signed by the development team uh, because that was the first game I ever worked on so it's a little bit sentimental so after a year of renovations let's see the updated setup There are so many wonderful knickknacks, accessories and personal touches that I've added to my space. Um, there's too many here to talk about, so if there's anything in particular you like about my setup, uh, let me know and I will try my best to link where I got it from in the comments or in the video description. But yeah, I'm very happy with how this turned out. It's a great combination of the different things that have inspired me, that define me, um, creatively, personally, spiritually. <laughs> Um, lots of references to video games that inspired me to work in games and it just is a nice cozy space not only for me to work from home but play from home too. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, uh, let me know what you think of my setup and hopefully I'll do more updates in the future and yeah thank you so much for watching, uh, I, I hope you have a great day.